The book I've chosen to review is Rich Dad Poor Dad. It is a well-known book for personal finance. This is the book here. It's pretty small. It's about 350 pages. And the first time I read this book, I found it interesting and inspiring. Although there are many critics of this book, I would like to dig deeper into this New York Times bestseller. To give an overview of it, uh, Kaiyosaki tells his story of how he grew up with two different dads, his rich dad and his poor dad. His poor dad worked a nine to five job as an accountant and his rich dad owned multiple businesses and was on his way to becoming one of the most wealthy men in Hawaii. Now, Robert, <clears throat> Robert observed and learned from both his rich dad and poor dad some important ideas. One idea was that everyone is too afraid to get out of the rat race, he calls it. Um, a quote from Robert's book states, most people have a price, and they have a price because of human emotions named fear and greed. First, the fear of being without money motivates us to work hard. And then, once we get that paycheck, greed or desire starts us thinking about all the wonderful things we can buy with it. So Robert's point is that you cannot let your life be run by fear and greed, or you will get stuck in this never-ending race. Now on slide two, you can see the two pictures on the left are what it looks like to be in the rat race, uh, what, your, what your money, what the money flow looks like to be in the rat race. And then the picture on the right is what your money flow looks like if you are out of the rat race. The next idea he learned from his rich dad is that financial education is important, which I'm sure everyone would agree with. But Robert points out that uh, it's something that most people lack. In a quote, he says, intelligence solves problems and produces money. Money without financial intelligence is money soon gone. Robert believes all forms of education are good, but he thinks that financial education is not taught in schools and that most people will go through their lives with little financial intelligence. And I can agree with this. Something that I've had to learn on my own that I wish I've learned in school would be um, taxes and learning how to trade options in the stock market. The third idea that Robert learned was to create as many assets as possible. This is something I enjoyed learning throughout this book. He explains and gives a uh, visual representation, which is very easy to follow. A quote in his book states that most people struggle financially because they do not know the difference between an asset and a liability. Rich people acquire assets, the poor and middle class acquire liabilities they think are assets, said Rich Dad. Now, there's a lot that goes into acquiring assets, and Robert definitely makes it seem easier than it, uh, than it actually is. But there's nothing that doesn't mean that he's wrong. Uh, this book is a great for getting to understand how to think about money. Although he gives some examples of ways to make money, he will often refer back to his main point of financial literacy, which is something that he tends to fall back on. For example, Robert will talk about real estate and how it is great for creating your asset column, but he won't go into details about what the regulations are for real estate and how it works. Um, I noticed this throughout the book, and at some point it starts to sound a little bit repetitive, but if I was if I was going to go into it, Every, if he was going to go into every detail of the book, the book would be a 4,000 page book. Um, aside from that, Robert did refer you to other books so you could read deeper into a topic you felt interested in, which is something that I did. I actually bought two, two books that were in, uh, referred to in that book. Uh, he also does a great job of visual, visual representation and storytelling to help you better understand why his rich dad became rich, and why his poor dad stayed poor. A critic by the name John Reed stated that these stories were fictional, though, and that Robert admitted that. Although Robert was being misleading because he stated in the book that these stories were based on him growing up, I don't think it matters that much because the stories were there to help you uh, understand what's going on. But to move on, I remember when I was done reading this book, I had a huge shift in motivation and learning. I never read a book outside of school until Rich Dad uh, and Poor Dad, and now I'm reading every day because I enjoy it. If you are looking for a book to motivate you and get you thinking about finance in the right way, then this is a great book for you.